Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have a basic transistor circuit with an NPN transistor and what we're trying to do is determine the voltage from the collector to the emitter. We have a 5 volts voltage source driving current to the base. We have a 100 K ohm resistor. The voltage drop from between the base and the emitter should be about 0.7 volts. We have an 8 volt source driving current for the, to the collector. We have a 50 ohm resistor controlling that current and from that also knowing that beta, the current gain for between the collector current and the base current is 100 to 1. So how do we determine that? We're going to use the mesh methodology of solving the circuit and so we're going to find current I1 and we're going to find current I2. What we're going to do here is we're going to use the KVL methodology for loop 1. So the Kirchhoff voltage loop, Oop, that's KVL for Kirchhoff voltage loop. Number one, we're going to start at this point, go all the way around the loop and add up all the voltages. Starting from here, going to there, that's a five volt rise, minus the voltage drop across the resistor, so minus the current, I sub B, times 100 K ohms. And then we have a voltage drop from there to there, this is plus, this is minus the voltage drop of minus 0.7 volts to get back to the point where we started. So that should add up to zero. Subtracting this from that, we can say that 4.3 volts minus I sub B times 100 K is equal to zero, which allows us to solve for the base current. In this case, that means that when we move that across, minus I sub B times 100 K is equal to minus 4.3. That means that I sub B is equal to 4.3 divided by 100 K, which is equal to 43 microamps. That's the base current. Secondly, we're now going to go around the circuit right here. Again, we use the KVL method, KVL for loop number two, KVL loop number two. And starting at this point, going around like this, we can say that we have a voltage rise of V sub O. Then we have a voltage rise going across from there to there because we're going against the current. That means a voltage rise plus the current I sub C times 50 ohms. And then we have a voltage drop of 8 volts to get back to the point where we started, which is zero. Now you say, well, how can we solve for V sub O if we don't know the collector current? However, we know that beta is equal to 100 and beta is equal to the ratio of the collector current divided by the base current. Therefore, the collector current is equal to beta, oops, beta times the base current, which in this case is equal to 100 times 43 microamps, which is equal to 4.3 milliamps. So we can go ahead and plug that in here. So V sub O is equal to, oops, not yet, not ready for that yet, plus the collector current, which is 4.3 milliamps times 50 minus 8 equals 0. And finally, we can say that the voltage between the collector and the emitter is equal to 8 minus 50 times 0.0043. And now we need a calculator for that. So 50 times 0 0.0043 is equal to V sub O is equal to 8 minus 0 0.215 or V sub O is equal to 7.785 volts. And that's how we use the methodologies that we learned before, in this case the mess method by going around each loop, adding up all the voltages, calculating the current in each case, we can then calculate the base current and we can calculate the voltage between the collector and the emitter. And that's how that's done.